beautiful people, I'm Nancy Ogbebo and you are welcome to my kitchen. Hope you all are doing great. Do you know you can make your homemade cornflakes cereal from the very comfort of your home? So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So this is the dry corn I'll be using and this is how it is looking. So we'll go over to blending it. So we're going to blend this till it is smooth. Or you can take it out to blend. You can also buy from the store already blended. So I'll transfer this into my dry meal cup and we'll go over to blending. Thank you beautiful people for always coming back to watch me. I truly appreciate all your support and I'm not taking your love for granted, okay? And if you're coming across my video for the first time, hello, you are welcome. Here we make amazing recipe that you will love. So please subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified whenever we upload any video and you will love it. Please stay connected. So I'm going to be blending this till it is very, very smooth. So in my bowl, I have three cups of cornmeal. I'll go ahead and add in two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to mix this together until it is well incorporated. I found this recipe so helpful and economical. Next, I'll be adding in my water. So I'll add in this water gradually. So I used about three cups of water. So we're going to be adding this in badges so we'll mix everything till we get the very consistency we are going in for stir the batter until it is smooth and thin so you want something like the consistency of a pancake batter preheat your oven and also line your baking tray with parchment paper Pour the batter onto the prepared baking sheet and spread it evenly. So you're going to spread this as even as possible. So you do this with the help of your spatula. So in case you don't have a baking sheet, you can also oil your baking tray and that will also be fine. And I added a little bit of oil on my baking sheet. So after spreading it out evenly, then set it aside. Let's go over to the next step. In a bowl, add the cornmeal and small water. So you mix this until you get a breadcrumbs texture. Please do not miss this step. Do not miss this step. Sprinkle the top of the batter with the cornmeal crumbs and this will help give it a little extra crunchy texture so you transfer it to your oven please keep your eyes on it until the dough is dried out and crack it for about 15 minutes so we'll remove this from the baking sheet and after that return it back to the oven and bake until the pieces are toasted and golden for about 40 to 45 minutes and let it cool down completely before serving with any milk of choice. You can store the leftover in an airtight container in a cool and dry place for up to two weeks. Thank you beautiful people for always coming back to watch me. I truly appreciate your support and I'm not taking your love for granted, okay? So here now you use your hand to break it into smaller pieces till you get your desired shape and size okay and the result was amazing allow this to cool down and you can serve with any milk of choice and this recipe was really really good the texture the test was on point so one thing i noticed about this conflict is it does not go soft immediately unlike the store bought please try this and let me know what you think about it i'll see you in my next video from me is bye bye